Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today we can talk about working with setup teardown of test suite with Catalan Studio 5.3. So this is an all new feature of Catalan Studio 5.3. So let's quickly see how it works and understand what it is. So let's get started. Test listener versus test suite setup teardown. Well, if you remember in our previous video, we were talking about test listener, which was introduced in Catalan Studio 5.2. And this test suite setup teardown is another feature of Catalan Studio, which is released just now. And it is more like the test listener, but it is now going to be very specific for a test suite. It's not going to be running for all the test suites, but it is going to be specific for a test suite. So as you can see on the left hand side, you can see the test listener, which is something we talked about in our previous videos. And we created the opening of browser and closing of browser from the before test case and after test case attribute. But what if there is a situation where we have to execute a specific command for the test suite? Then you can see on the right hand side, there is a new tab added in the test suite where you can script the setup and teardown yourself, something like this. So essentially, setup teardown is an additional hook to test suite specific rather for all the test suites unlike test listeners. But still test listeners takes the highest priority compared to test suite specific hooks. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to Catalan 5.3. Alright so this is Catalan 5.3 and again this is going to be the same code that we have in our github repo. So please go ahead and get this particular code from there. It's available in exitautomation.com. So if you go to the executeautomation.com github, you can see that we have this particular repository, this one, Catalan Studio Web UI. So please go ahead and clone this particular repo so that you can have the same code that you are seeing over here. All right, so what we're going to discuss this time is, if you remember in our previous video, we had something like a new test listener, we just created it and we opened the browser and we also closed the browser when the test got executed. And again, this test listener is going to be very, very specific for all the test suites available within our project. So let's say if you have like 10 test suites, something like this hook test and the test listener is going to run for all the different hooks that you have and then it's going to execute the test for you. So this test listener is going to open the browser. So you're going to execute the test for that suite and then it's going to close the browser. Similarly, if you have 10 test suites, then the test listener is going to take the highest priority for running all those test suites. But what if there are some situation where you have to navigate to a specific URL of the application instead of navigating to the browser URL that is available here. So if you want to do that, probably this particular code is not going to work out. So you actually have to have something very specific for that particular test suite. So if you go to the hook test this time with Catalan 5.3, you can see there is a script tab over here. So if we click that, you can see now we have a new options, pretty new, which is not available until 5.2. And this says that in order to activate this particular method, the setup method, you need to make this as false. So if I make this to false, which means I'm activating this setup core right now. So if you don't really activate this code, let's say I'm just going to leave this as it is. And if I try to execute this code, maybe I'm going to execute this particular uh, hook test suite. And uh, let's say I'm going to run the Firefox headless as discussed in our previous video. So if I try to execute this code, what essentially is going to happen is it's just going to run the test as like previously we discussed in our previous videos, just execute the test without any problem. There we go. Nothing is going to happen. And you can check out that in the console that it is just working fine by working with the test listeners here and everything is going to be fine. But now that we actually have to activate this particular setup method and see how it works. So in order to do that, let's say I'm just going to put a false here and let's try to do a println and see what's going to happen. So instead of uh, writing the actual code, this time I'm just going to demonstrate to you like how you can set up a specific browser URL for that particular application. So for instance, uh, I'm going to uh, print a line here 
And now if I try to execute this particular code, for instance, so if I go to this collection of test suite, and now if I execute this, and let's say if I go to the console, you can see that it's going to navigate to the particular website. But if I just navigate over here, you can see what's essentially happening is it is opening a test listener sample before test suite, and then it's going to perform all these operation. And then we are seeing our code. I am going to navigate to different URL. So do you see that still, even though there is a hook or set up tear down code specific to the test suite, still the listener is going to take the highest priority. So even if you have any test suite method specific to the test suite for the setup, the test listener is going to take the highest priority. So ensure that there are only specific environment setup that you need to make before executing the test on the hooks because the test listener is again going to take the highest priority. So if you want to get rid of the test listener completely and you're going to have a separate environment variable for those specific test hooks, then you just have to delete this and you have to set up everything within this particular script app. So basically what I guess is this test listener is going to be really, really bringing a lot of pain to the existing testers by introduction of this new feature in 5.2. And people felt that even though you have different test suite with different collections of test, still this one listener is not going to serve the purpose. And that's why the team has introduced a new feature here. I guess introducing this new feature of setup and teardown is going to slowly make this particular feature unusable. And I don't really see a much value of test listener right now because whatever you can do with test listener is essentially going to be done with the hooks specific test setup and teardown. And also you can write test case specific steps as well within this particular code. So that's the new feature guys. And this is how you can change your code and you can perform the operation. So once again, ensure that whatever code that you write in the hook specific test cases, it's going to execute only second followed by the actual code from the listener. So listeners still take the highest priority compared to the test to suites set up and teardown. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.